there and welcome back to my channel. So today, oh my gosh, could I be any more annoying today? Probably not. But I actually, just before I get to the video, which I know you're thinking, I'm when getting to the fecking video, we believe there's glitter and we want to see it sparkle. Sparkle, bitch, sparkle. Anyway, guys, I think the reason why I'm insanely hyped today is because I just had a really strong coffee, but mainly because I have not had much time recently to film. That's why I've not really had a lot of uh, videos popping up on my channel. I've just not had the time. Work has been draining all of my energy. So I just think I'm just so excited and happy to be here on my stool with my cat ears on filming. And I'm just so excited about it. But today, because Carrie from Glitter Eyes is the most sensational lady in the world she very kindly sent me some more of her beautiful handmade stunning glitter products and she sent me the mop is it the mop the M master of parties she sent me the queen like the queen of all of the glitter palettes the palette that brought me and carrie together the fecking unicorn palette Guys, if you've watched any of my videos before, you will know just how excited my vagina is right now. Like, oh no, that sounds bad. But you'll know how excited I am about this. I tried a fake uh, unicorn palette and I didn't really know it was fake at the time um, because I was like a little bit, I don't know, ignorant, let's say. I didn't think that fakers fake would fake indie brands, but they did. So anyway, I tried out the fake unicorn palette and then Carrie saw that and she was like hey bitch hey well she didn't say hey bitch hey but I wouldn't have blamed her if she did but she said would you actually like to try the real unicorn palette and I was like yes bitch yes send it my way I didn't say yes bitch yes but you know what I mean this is just like dramatizing the dialogue we had anyway she sent me this palette which we are going to be dibble dabbling in today and oh my gosh ugh, so excited because carrie is the most generous lady ever she did send me some other glitter palettes and i am going to be doing a giveaway uh, with one of these palettes I have no idea how I'm going to do the giveaway. Like, I've, I've not really thought about it because I only opened this package yesterday. So, I need to just have a little bit more time to think of the giveaway. But I promise there will be a video coming very soon which will give you all, all of the info on the giveaway. So, the palette that I am going to be giving away is a pressed glitter palette. This is what she looks like. You've got five beautiful pressed glitters so this will be in the giveaway and I may also pop in a couple of um kind of loose glitter loose glitters as well if I'm feeling generous you, you know no I'm always feeling generous I'll just pop a few things in you know Harry also sent me this beautiful um kind of cool tone blue green oh very sparkly palette I just want to put it all over my vagina and maybe Boo buyers too. This is gorgeous and oh my gosh guys I promise I am going to be getting to the unicorn palette in a minute but I just want to show you the beautiful products that Carrie makes. Okay so the final palette that Carrie sent me is the oh I forgot the name already I just looked like literally looked and like this is how bad I am with names. It's called the princess palette and I don't think I've ever met a palette that has been so appropriately named. Get your eyes ready and your vaginas probably too. Feast your eyes on this. How gorgina is this palette? Look at this one sparkling away just saying hey hey guys just look at me. I will make you sensational i know you're sensational anyway but i'll make you even did something for her <gasps> oh no one of them fell out because i mean they are pressed pressed in there and and oh oh no guys i don't worry fine i think i can i can bring this back Oh no, Carrie, I'm so sorry. 
Carrie. Shania. Oh gosh. Anyway, it's fine because look, I've 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 picked her up and I can press her back in, so it's fine. I'm not gonna wave the palette about anymore because I just don't want to lose any more of my glittery babies, you know? Guys, glittery guys, my glitter girlfriends, my glitter guys, whoever is watching this. Um, okay, so guys, so guys, could I see guys any more times? Okay, anyway, so guys, oh, I said it again, oh, for fuck's sake. Honestly, guys, like, uh, mm, I'm not going to say vaginas or guys, like, ever again not just in the video ever again okay so so this is the beautiful unicorn palette did i even show you i don't think i even showed you holy shit seven minutes in not even showing you the palette we're going to be reviewing today but this is she she is sensational i don't have the fake anymore i think i dropped kicked it out the window if i can remember correctly but this palette actually does look extremely different from the fake uh, the fake one did not have this i mean the fake one just did not have any of the sensationalism that this palette possesses. As you can see, we've got a mix of pressed glitters. We've got some kind of chunkier pressed glitters. We also have highlighters. So I just feel like I have everything, everything sparkly, sheeny, glittery that I, I could ever dream about within this palette. So I'm gonna begin with some swatches and then I think I'm just gonna put you in fast forward because if I don't, this video, it's gonna be like a year long. So I'm gonna just do some swatches and then, oh God, that looks so suspicious. Look, my fucking anal plug. Well, no guy, no, sorry, no, it's not, not my anal plug. I don't have an anal plug. And if I did, it would not be on my makeup table in full view of my neighbors and uh, you, uh, you guys on YouTube. This is my lip plumper, not, I promise, an anal plug. He never fails to embarrass me. So to begin, we are going to swatch a glow up. Oh. <gasps> oh, wow. If it was possible to have a glitter orgasms, I feel like I would have just had one. Look at this, guys. Can you see? Can you see? Let's do a swatch. So this one is glow up. The texture does definitely feel... A little bit rough like it doesn't feel as like smooth as some other very finely milled highlighters that i've tried but god damn she packs a punch and it's really interesting because this is like duo chrome so it almost looks kind of silvery you know in some parts and then a beautiful kind of a light gold but she is truly a blinding blind ding okay so i'm probably not going to be swatching the chunkier glitters just because i think like you can see them quite well but next we're going to swatch the rainbow unicorn oh see these are very unique you know the formula is is kind of rough it's kind of rough but not but very sheeny like what i don't know like but this is she looking quite chunky but I have a feeling she's going to melt onto my skin. Oh, fuck, fuck. Sorry guys, my language, oh my God. In my head then, a voice came, I'm gonna do five Hail Marys. I'm like, what? Why would I do that? I'm not religious. And who the feck is Mary? And why would I need to be hailing her? But anyway, guys, so as you can see, she's a little bit chunky, but she just kind of smooths, like she smooths, and melts into your skin. Look at this. Ah, like she is quite chunky though. She is. And don't forget that I am using my fingertip and a, a little bit of pressure, you know, to kind of, um, you know, swatch her onto my skin. So I feel like, well, we're going to see, but I feel like if I use a fluffy brush, you're not going to have that same pick up a product if that makes sense like i don't even know if i know what i mean so i don't know good luck guys for you knowing because i don't know the only thing is with that particular shade the rainbow kind of um duo color aspect of it hasn't really come to light from that swatch oh look i just licked my finger holy shit oh fuck it's an ambulance don't worry guys it's fine i have not fainted yet because of the beautiful uh, glitters oh you're going Oh, so you have another emergency to get to today. Okay, that's fine, like really. Because can you see we have like 
a rainbow effect we've got a gold we've got a lilac -y or violet purpley shade we've got a pink and we've got a mint green so shall i see if i can try and like pick up all colors by maybe doing a horizontal swipe oh yes like you can see like you can well, I can. I don't know if you can, but like I can. So that's all that matters. I'm just joking, guys. And we're like um, the ultimate rainbow swatch. Can you see? I mean, I mean, I can. I can see, but I don't think like that was necessarily the best place to swatch. Oh, I've got to stop eating this. But do you know what? It tastes nice. Like Harry. Like, could you eat these? Are they edible? Like, what do you actually put in here? It tastes sugary. Like, you know, a lot of the time, like, and by the way, I don't, I don't make a habit out of eating makeup, but you know a lot of the time, like, if you just happen to get, like, an eyeshadow, blush, highlight in your mouth, it tastes minging, but this does not taste minging, it tastes good. We've had another faux pas, guys, we've had another faux pas, so I had the palette upside down on my thigh oh my gosh i just feel so bad like, i need to take better care of things and look what happened it's a uh it's a learning curve guys it's a learning curve but look i mean i definitely have i mean i definitely have the most fabulous fabulous uh, thigh area going on right now by the way yes i am in my pajama pants um and these are so comfy so this is like what she's wearing today i mean really oh shit i just hit myself in the eye um okay so like quickly we're going to swatch um afterglow which is this beautiful shade and moon bunny which is uh, this beautiful shade oh hello who's this oh fuck ee -E, your latest mobile bill is ready to view i don't fucking want to view it thank you very much like i'll just pretend it doesn't exist and then when you start sending me chaser emails then maybe i'll view it but probably not do you know what i mean let's just swatch moon oh my gosh i think this would make the most beautiful is this one guys i know it's like i've got a lot going on on my fingers right now but i think it was this one would make a really beautiful um eyeshadow oh oh shit I mixed in the pink with this and I am just dying right now. I'll just eat some more. I feel like, yes, it tastes great. <laughs> just trying to get the glitter off, you know, but this one, this one is Afterglow again. She does appear to be quite chunky, but you know what? She looks beautiful. So let's um, swatch her there so she has a beautiful kind of purpley jewel chrome and then we have sorry i don't want it to seem like i'm rushing but like i am rushing this one is moon bunny which is just so gorgeous and then you've got afterglow and i just think that these are such a blinding highlight i just think they're great so guys i am going to put you in fast forward because this video is going to keep us here all day and night i'll show you which uh, sh formulas and shades i'm using but let's just see what can she do today what can she produce upon this face today i mean really oh gosh i am being so annoying today i'm just gonna go get some wipes because of course oh, no. i don't have any hair fair coffee i don't want to view my fucking bill i mean really guys i mean really by the way my light's not working i hope you can see me like because apparently the light it does not want anyone to see me which is like great
so admittedly I got totally carried away like completely carried away I seem to have turned this video into a let's use every single highlighter and glitter within this palette and also another palette so I know I got totally carried away I was loving the look until I made the extremely poor choice to put the pink glitter you know all over my face I mean the pink glitter was beautiful but just not all over my face I feel like the look other than that is like I love it I even love the lips although I I feel like it's a bit unwearable you know it's a little bit like oh 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 what have I got on my faking lips kind of thing okay so probably like one of my favorite uh kind of shadows in the palette is moon bunny I just thought that it made for the most beautiful uh kind of chromey silver eyeshadow and it also served really nicely as a um, metallic base to the glitters so I really really love that I absolutely love these uh, chunky glitters it's so easy to use because they are mixed with a kind of formula whereby they're not just like a loose glitter they actually have like a tackiness to them which um you know if you just use a like what do you call it a, bl a brush <laughs> they go on beautifully and they're insanely easy to work with overall like I love the look I minus the pink glitter all over my face I just took it too far so but other than that I really really love it I have had it so sorry this glitter like it's really like mm, I don't know I don't know if glitter is meant for the lips that's what she said when she did a vajazzle I mean really guys I just wanted to say thank you so much to Carrie again for sending me her amazing handcrafted makeup i really really appreciate it I, I wasn't sure whether to say this or it so i went this it i don't know what i said but anyway it sounded really awkward that's me every single day every day bitch oh yeah i need a t-shirt awkward everyday bitch or like jake paul goes it's everyday bro it's like it's awkward every day bro like that that's it that was terrible but anyway guys if you do want to check out any of carrie's makeup she is based in the uk she does have a website which i will put the name of here she's also on instagram which i will put the name of here i would really really appreciate it if you could go to her instagram give her a follow say hi say i saw ram when completely overdoing it with your glitter but anyway show her some love and um, thank you so much for watching the video today i really really appreciate it and i will see you in the next one bye bye okay so we are back i was just getting my makeup off begrudgingly oh oh it was because he wanted to try on some of the glitter didn't you gorge because you spotted it earlier